Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make a YouTube background using Adobe Photoshop uh, CS6. Okay, so the first thing to do is to download the link that I put in the description below. And this is just a new YouTube template. And once it's downloading, it will automatically open Photoshop CS6. So you just wait for that to open. Okay, so once it opens, the very first thing you need to do is to take layer one and throw it away. Just go ahead and throw that away. And the next thing you need to do is get the paint bucket. And if you can't find the paint bucket tool, it's under the gradient. You just have to click the gradient and hold it down and you'll see the paint bucket. So click on the paint bucket and you come over here and choose a color. I'm going to make this white. We're going to make this white so we can see it. So we're just going to go ahead and turn this white and then the next thing is to make another layer. So you click on this um, new layer which is right next to the trash. So on the new layer we're going to take use a photo bucket again and we're going to make the background black Okay, now you take layer one and bring it below shape two. So this is going to be the actual background for my YouTube page. So the next thing you need to do is go to paintbrush and we're going to go up here to pick a brush. I'm going to pick this one and I'm going to make the size 1700. And so we're just going to add the glow effect to our YouTube page like that and now you just go over here and choose a color. I'm gonna, you can choose any color like a green, a yellow, a blue. I'm gonna choose a pink. I'm gonna choose this one. Okay. So you just kinda bring it to the center and just tap once. Okay. So the next thing you need to do is to go to this text, the, click on the T, which is for text, and I'm going to add my username right here. I'm going to break it up into two parts. And since my na username is actually my real name, so I'm going to put Rima and... You just highlight it and make sure the font is 110. You just clip up here and type it in. Just type in 110. That's what I put mine on so you can see it the best. And then now we're going to turn it sideways so we can put it vertical. And you just go towards the arrow and wait till it makes the curved arrows. And then just make sure it's straight up and down. Okay, so now we go to the move tool. We're just going to move it to the center. Like. Like this, I guess. That's fine. Okay, so now we're going to add another text box. And I'm going to put my other half of my username. and make sure it's at 110 and you can change the font by highlighting it and going over here and picking a color. I'm going to go ahead and just leave it at black. So, oh, and you can change the font up here as well. Um, so just go ahead and turn that. Oh, actually I'm going to turn it the opposite way this time. Like so. And just go ahead and move it to the other side. And I just really want to make it in the center. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is, it looks very, um, you can't see the names that clearly, you know, so we want to really make it pop out more. So just go over here and click on one of the names and just right click on it and go up here to blending options. 
And here we're going to click on a couple of things. We're going to click on um, Beloved. And over here you can see how it's changing. And you can also see it in this preview box. So I'm going to click on this Beloved and Embossed and Contour, Texture, Stroke, Outer Glow. And on Outer Glow, I'm going to go ahead and change the color because I really, let's see. I really don't want to use yellow. I want to use a more pinker color. And on the spread, we're, I'm going to make it 20. And on the size, I'm going to make it 15. Okay, so now you can really see a difference. And then I'm also going to click on Drop Shadow. And here, I'm going to put the distance as 25. And I'm going to put it at angle. Okay, so it looks really good. And just push OK. And now I'm going to do it the same thing to the other side. So you click on Blending Options. And you clicked on Beloved, Contour, Texture, Stroke, Outer Glow. And here you put this at 20, this one at 15. And change the color. You don't have to change the color if you don't want to. I just like to. So push OK. And then the drop shadow, make sure that's at 25. And it's already at the same angle as you put it as before. So just push OK. And so this is our very simple uh, YouTube background. So now we go to save it and click on save as. And you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to put this on my desktop. And I'm going to put this as a JPEG and just go ahead and push save and save the quality as a large file the largest it can be at 12 you know and just push OK so now we go over here to my YouTube page and click on channel settings and if you already have a background go ahead and remove it and now we upload the new one we just made which is this one Okay, so here's our new you here's our new background and you can add other things. Now you know how to add text. You can put like latest video here or subscribe or something like that. But this is a very basic um, YouTube background. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. Bye.